Are you getting inconsistent results with your row tap? Well, it probably means you need to make some adjustments to your height, hammer, or timing belt. We'll show you how, so stick around. Hi everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and I'm here today to answer the question, why am I getting inconsistent results with my row tap? Well, here at WS Tyler, we literally invented the row tap mechanical sieve shaker back in 1914. That's over a hundred years of experience and knowledge that we want to pass on to you. So to do that, we're gonna go over three things. One, adjusting the sieve height. Two, adjusting the hammer height. And three, adjusting the timing belt. Let's get started. Height adjustment affects how snug the sieve cover is. If it's not tight, your material will just spill out and it'll also make the whole process a lot louder than it has to be. To adjust the height, first you're going to want to activate the two adjusting handles by pressing the yellow buttons. Hand tighten the scored plastic end on the support bar threads. Deactivate the yellow buttons on the handles and then tighten the black handles. If you do it just like that, your lid will be perfectly snug and ready to keep those particles in. If your hammer isn't properly adjusted, it won't be applying the right amount of force to do the job. That means your particles won't find the openings in the mesh of your sieve. So to adjust your hammer height, this is what you want to do. Detach the pedestal cover. Then adjust the hammer height until it reaches between 1 and 5 16 and 1 16 by loosening the coupling screw on the side of the machine to adjust the lift rod. Tighten the coupling screw and reattach the pedestal cover and bada bing, bada boom, no pun intended, your hammer is adjusted and ready to go. So when it comes to the timing belt, it's really the driving factor for the hammer tapping motion. If it's tensed right, it's going to last longer, it's going to reduce wear on the bearings, and it's also going to make the whole operation even quieter. So if you want to adjust your timing belt, you're going to want to expose the bottom of your row tap device by placing it on its side. Loosen the four bolts that secure the motor, but make sure not to remove the bolts. Then slide the motor to adjust the timing belt's tension until an approximate 13 pounds per span corresponding tension force is achieved. And finally, tighten the four motor bolts and your row tap will be perfectly adjusted and ready to make perfect and accurate results. As a final note, also keeping your whole row tap lubricated can be a really good idea. In fact, Putting together a regular schedule for general lubrication could really be key because your row taps, it's just going to wear out faster if you don't, which means you'll have to replace parts. So we recommend applying a light oil or WD-40 every six months to prevent that from happening. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.